Uh, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a businessman, um, I'm a consumer technology reviewer. So the focus of my talk is going to be some of the most exciting and interesting breakthroughs and twists for the consumer in the cellular space. And everybody says, okay, well, boy, this is the first time the phone got together with the internet, just carrying the voice over the internet, voice over IP. This is Vonage and AT&T call Vantage and stuff like that. But that was just the Cro-Magnon beginnings of what can happen when you blend the phone with the internet. And I want to talk about going beyond voice over IP. Voice over IP is cool. You get a, a little box. Uh, you plug your phone in one end, your cable modem in the other end. And then when you pick it up to make a call, you hear a dial tone, but it's just a, an AIFF recording of a dial tone. It's, not, it's, just, it's just to not freak you out. It could be you know, salsa music or you know, uh, Jerry Seinfeld's voice. It could be anything. And then all your calls to North America are free or, or a flat fee, like $17 or $20 a month. There's like no taxes or fees. The FCC basically hasn't discovered this thing yet. And your phone number is in the box. So if you travel, if you go to Singapore and plug in your hotel phone there, then your next door neighbor can dial your number and it will ring in Singapore. Um, but again, this is at this point old hat. Um, the interesting things are where voice over IP becomes free, as it is with Skype. Uh, as you know, 250 million people are using this, um, especially um, young people when they go to college, they want to keep in touch with their friends, but they don't have the money. So they have a, a motivation to sit there and wear a headset like a mirror, which is the downside of Skype, is that you can't use your regular phone unless you pay a couple cents a minute. Um, looks like that. The thing that I keep wondering is, when will Skype come to phones? So there are Skype phones, like this one, Netgear and Belkin make them. Uh, 150 bucks gets you a phone that looks like a cell phone, works like a cell phone, except that it's free forever to anyone else with Skype or with one of these. So if you have a kid who's going to you know, Asia for a semester abroad, you each get one of these and you can make unlimited free calls whenever you both are in Wi-Fi. So very, very cool, crystal clear sound. Um, yeah, but the, the biggest breakthrough, I think, um, I, I should say among the big carriers, the number of cell phones that concurrently do voice over IP is surprisingly zero. <laughs> For some reason, the major carriers have this thing about not wanting to help you avoid running up your airtime. You can't figure out what they're thinking. Um, in fact, if you say, you know, voice over IP for free to a cellular carrier, your reaction is going to be like that. So, but there is an update since I originally published that zero statistic. There are now, in fact, four phones that do full-blown Skype-like stuff on you know, over Wi-Fi and are also cell phones. And um, it's, it's this thing, T-Mobile Hotspot at home, and I have nothing to do with T-Mobile, but I just think it's so interesting the way they, they went about it. This, this isn't working, by the way. They came up with this program called Hotspot at Home, and basically, the reason most people have never heard of it is that it came out on June 29 of last year. Does anyone remember what else happened on June 29? Yeah, the iPhone came out. Yeah. I would like to be T-Mobile's PR guy. Uh, we have an announcement to... <laughs> But um, basically, um, these are four cell phones, and they're getting more models all the time, including a BlackBerry, that whenever you're in a Wi-Fi hotspot, all your calls are free. Free, free, free. And when you're in the cellular range, you're, you're out of the Wi-Fi, it seamlessly switches over to the cellular network. They want you to replace your home phone service with this. And you might think, yeah, but how often am I in a Wi-Fi hotspot? And the answer is almost always, because or coffee shops, hotels, and at home, the 14 hours a day you spend at home, they give you a special Wi-Fi access point that's tailored, sorry, it's a breakfast burrito, um, <laughs> that, uh, that's tailored to these phones and gives priority to the voice calls over laptop signal and so on. Um, and they have this com these combo phones in Europe and Asia, but what nobody has that T-Mobile did that's so interesting is they got it to hand off from Wi-Fi to cellular and back again <coughs> seamlessly in mid soul So here is the, the uh, very expensive testing protocol we use at the New York Times. This is me with a camcorder pointed at the cell phone. So I'm on the phone with my wife. What you're going to see is this signal right here. This indicator shows that we are now in a Wi-Fi signal. And as I leave the house, 
you'll see fewer and fewer bars until blink, the thing is going to change to a telephone pole icon as it in mid-syllable hands off to the cellular network. Hello. Hi, babes, it's me. Oh, I'm sorry, how are you? Okay. You're on Wi-Fi, how does it sound? Oh, it sounds pretty good. I'm, going, okay. I'm going for a walk, do you mind? Oh, no, not at all. I'm going to be with the kids. What are you guys doing? Well, we're deciding to do this right and you uh, but anyway, so so nobody else has that, and it's 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 quite great. I, I just love how it works. So the interesting thing, though, is that the T-Mobile billing software has not quite caught up to the T-Mobile cellular software. <laughs> and what I mean by that is it doesn't notice when you've left one network and entered another. So you can start a call at home and walk out of the house and continue that call until the battery is dead, and it will remain free even though you're now in the cellular network. Um, which, you know, 15 minutes is still the battery thing. Um, um, and now, interestingly, the opposite is also true. If you start on the cellular network and you come into a Wi-Fi hotspot, the call is handed off to Wi-Fi, by the way, where the sound quality is pristine and perfect, because it's VoIP. Um, but the billing software doesn't notice that you've left the cellular area and continues to bill you for the call. So that's why when I reviewed this thing, I said this will be the number one leading cause of people saying, hey, I just got home. Can I call you right back? <laughs> the calls you make from Wi-Fi hotspots anywhere are free. T-Mobile doesn't know whether you're in your house or a pub in London. So what I'm saying is unlimited calls home from abroad. So free. Free calls on these phones from overseas to the United States. And this is just one of the ways that, in the new mobile era, the boundaries about where you are are starting to melt. It's, you know, with those void boxes, you take your area code wherever you travel. So it's meaning less and less where you are physically. Um, so, but what, what really is cool is when they start merging not just the voice over the internet, but actually the features and the processing. And uh, you might have heard of this thing, Grand Central. Um, here, anyone got a working cell phone in this room? No, okay. So can you call me real quick? Sure. Okay, ready? Two phones, two carriers, two numbers. This is a 203 area code phone. This is a 408. And incredibly, oh, of course I got the ringer off. <laughs> okay. They're both ringing at the same time. And my home phone in Connecticut is also ringing right now. Sorry, honey, I know you're still sleeping. And so I can say, um, I can answer this one. The other two hang up, and I say, hello. Hey, hi. Is this uh, Tony? Yep. Uh, where are you calling from? And uh, don't answer. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what you don't know, well, actually, thank you very much for assisting with my demonstration. Thank God it works. Um, technology <laughs> never does. So um, I do these silly videos for the New York Times website, and I will show you now all of the things that Grand Central can do. Basically, they issue a new uni number that they control through the internet. All your calls are routed through the web if you, if you give out this new uni number to people.